Good day, Father Matt Williams here, still out in Pennsylvania at the Theology of Body Institute. I am standing outside, it stopped raining right now, but I want to talk about the Father. Jesus, today in the Gospel, from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, talks about we should ask, seek, and knock when we go to the Father. And the, the context he in which he explains this is he talks about how loving and generous the Father is. He says, what man of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? There's a story of, a, there was an earthquake in Armenia uh, back in the late 80s or early 90s, and it was a, a devastating earthquake. And there was a, this father who uh, had a son, he was in grade school, early grade school, um, and always used to tell his son before school every day, no matter what, I'll always be there for you. And so his son had gone off to school and gone off to school, and the earthquake happened. When the earthquake had finished, the father ran to the school to try to find the son to see if he was okay. When he arrived there, the school had been completely decimated, completely flattened. And he went to the corner of the, of the building where his son's classroom would have been, and he starts digging away. And people are saying, you're crazy, they're all dead, why, why dig? And he says, listen, you can either help me or just keep moving on, but I'm going to keep digging. And he started digging and digging and digging. And he's there 10 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. Uh, like 36 hours later, he starts, he gets close and he starts to hear some voices. And he lifts up this board and there's the entryway into the classroom. And some of the kids had actually died and some of them had survived. And there was his son, Armand. And his son looked and he said, Daddy! And he turned to his friends and he said, See, I told you my father would come for us. Brothers and sisters, that's the kind of father that we have in heaven. And that's the kind of faith that Jesus wants us to have in our heavenly father. That he loves us dearly and that he would always, always come after us. That he would never abandon us. The father loves us so much. When Jesus compares us to the Father in the sense of you who know who are evil know how to give good things, how much more the Father. He's saying that we need to trust our Heavenly Father and that we need to pray confident that the Father hears us and that the Father has nothing but good in mind for you and for me. And sometimes that prayer doesn't get answered in the exact way that I want it to be answered and sometimes it does. But to know that the Father wants to give that which is most good for us and for our salvation. Earlier on in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says, Seek first the kingdom of God, and everything else will be given unto you. And that's the reality when we pray, that he wants us to seek first his kingdom, his will to be done, trusting in our Father that he desires nothing but good for us, and that he will give us everything that we need to live for him and to make it to heaven someday and to bring people with us. So on this day, this Thursday of the first week of Lent, let us continue to pray with great expectation that the Father loves us, that He's generous, that He wants to give all good things for us that we need so that we can live faithfully for Him and for His kingdom. God bless you. Please pray for me as I pray for you.